guys, it's Natasha from BPT 101. For a successful rehabilitation of an injury of any kind, it is really helpful to know what current wound healing phase you're in and what you can and should do. There are three wound healing phases and today we're talking about the first one, the inflammation phase. So whatever injury you just have, if you have back problems or you strain an ankle, sprain a wrist, you burn a hand or a finger, everything starts with an inflammation. The fat phase normally takes from one to five days. It cleans up the injured body part and it prepares the wound area for repair. What are the symptoms of this inflammation phase? The body part is usually red, swollen, hot, you are in a lot of pain and your function is limited. This phase is to protect you from putting too much pressure on your injured body part. What's the goal of this phase? Stop the bleeding, internal and external, and boost the inflammation process. What can you do, should you do, or what we do? You can put an ice pack on it, or if ice is too aggressive for you, you can also soak a washcloth in cold water and put it in the fridge or in the freezer and put that on the injured body part. You can do that three times a day, no more, no longer than 15 to 20 minutes. If that's too aggressive for you, you can also put the injured body part on the running cold water. The immobilization doesn't mean you don't have to move at all. No, it means you should move without pain. So let's say you sprain an ankle, try to move the toes, try to move the knee, try to move the ankle as well, as long as it doesn't hurt. Same with the strained wrist. Try to move the fingers, try to move the elbow or the shoulder. Nothing has happened here, so you should be able to move them completely pain-free. Try to move the wrist a little bit, as long as it is pain-free. If you can, rest the injured body part in an elevated position from time to time. And if you tolerate it, you can put a bandage or a brace on the injured body part. So this is the inflammation phase. Tomorrow, we're gonna talk about the proliferation phase and we would love to have you back for the second wound healing phase. If you have any questions about the inflammation phase, about what you should, could, shouldn't do in this inflammation phase, shoot us a message here, send us an email to contact at pt101forpatients.com. Don't forget to like the video, to like our page, follow us, and we would love to hear from you soon. Bye.